My name is Brandon Deshotel. I work for Landis Construction. We are on the Iberville redevelopment phases five and six. It is actually two separate contracts with our owner. We're doing two historic renovations on ours. I'm gonna show you basically what I run through every day with Procore. So when I grab my iPad, head out to the field, depending on which phase of the job I'm going to, uh, which side of the street I'm going to, I have both projects with me. So I'll jump into phase five. Uh, I know that we're talking something about porches, so I'm gonna check out my drawings on my M6 multifamily. So we have architectural drawings. I can take a look at what my architectural plans are showing for these porches. Let's see, here's my slab edge, so. Taking a look at my porches, my ramps, how all of this is built, what our dimensions are. Well, I need to look at my structurals to see what kind of foundation I'm using. I can jump over to my structurals and here's my grade beam layout. Well, Procore gives me a nice convenient link to one of my cut sections so I can take a look at my S304 and see exactly what kind of a foundation I need here. Uh, so I want to jump back to the first sheet I was on, hit my little last button. And then, of course, I'll jump back over to my architecturals because I want to see something else related to the stairs. Uh, I, whatever I need, I'm there. Uh, you know, one, one of the things that's going on our stairs and ramps is precast pavers. And I don't know if I've gotten that submittal back from the architect yet. So let me jump into my submittal log. Filters. Spec section. I'm going to group it by spec section. And look at my precast. Precast concrete pavers for precast treads at M6. That's my building. Approved as noted. And what markups did my architect make? So, yep, easy enough. Installer to stagger joints from one step to the next. So I got everything I need to give my concrete guy the information to go build those steps. I can tell him that all the pieces of the puzzle are there and he can go look at it on his iPad and it's, it's all there. So anytime I get pulled to any other buildings, somebody sees me out on site and they want to drag me over to the historic building to take a look at something, got everything there and repeat the process. It's, it's all there. Everything is right inside of Procore. So if I go back to the projects tab, I've got both phases five and six. So I'll jump into phase five. I, I spend a little bit more time in phase five. So as far as recent photos go, uh, any open items I've got, don't, don't really focus too much on that. Biggest thing I'm looking at is drawings. So if I go to my drawings, the drawings are broken down into three different buildings. So I'm not sorting through three stacks of, of drawings trying to find one particular building. It's, it's broken down by building. Uh, of course, I can jump into a, a discipline, whether I'm looking at the structural or the architectural, kind of keeps everything grouped instead of, once again, having to scroll through 500 drawings just to find the one that I need. Back out of drawings, if I come across something in the field, we've got questions on it, well, what do our shop drawings show? So I'm jumping into my submittals. So depending on what I'm looking for is how I'm gonna filter it. If I know that it's still ball in court for the architect, if, it, if it's something that's still pending, I usually sort everything or open uh, if not, I'll, I'll sort just by closed. If I know it's something that's that's been closed, we have all the information on, I can open that up, see what exactly we were talking about, and there's the attachment right there. Of course, there's also any pertinent notes. Every now and then the architect has a comment that he'll put in the comment box and say, hey, uh, you know, please note this, please, re please resubmit this, this component is missing. And then twice a week, one of the things we do out here is take uh, progress photos. Of course, we're doing progress photos for phase five, phase six. I'll jump into the photos tab. Prior to coming out in the field, I'll set up a new folder. Uh, so in this case, yesterday I set up progress photos for phase five. I, I don't have any yet, so I can't show you those, but phase four, I have every single progress photo that I've taken on the job so far. And Procore is really simple when it comes to adding these photos to the job. Previously, if I wanted progress photos, I'd pull up my phone or my iPad, walk around, take a bunch of photos, plug it into my computer, download it, transfer it to the folder. Here, I go into Procore, I go into the folder, I press take photos, and I got a couple different options. I can either do a photo, which gives me the opportunity to review it, or quick snap. 
So if I'm gonna take a photo, something I see as an issue, uh, I'll take photos, take some time to study it, make sure that everything's there, all the information I need. But if it's just taking progress photos, let's see what the job looks like. Let's take a few hundred photos this morning. I just go to quick snap. Every time I press the button, takes a photo, takes a photo, takes a photo, brings me right back ready to take the next one. So of course I can always go back and look at those photos as well. I've never used a program that has all the submittals here. So everything I do in my computer syncs here. Something we talked about in one of our internal meetings is data. You're gonna burn all your data. Well, Procore has these settings. Procore now has the option to only upload photos when on Wi-Fi. So as far as syncing goes, it's, it's still gonna sync if you're connected to a cell data network. But when I'm taking these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photos, it's only gonna upload it when I'm connected to Wi-Fi. But just the fact that everything is, is there, it syncs. If I do something on my computer and I pick up my iPad, it's already there. Every time I open the app, it updates it. So usually, I'm walking out the trailer, I'll pull out my iPad, open up the app, and it syncs all the information I need before I ever walk out the door. And I can see everything here. When I'm looking at a submittal, I can actually zoom in, really fully analyze it, rather than just looking at a, a little preview window. I can go to a full screen. And then, some, I guess this, this is something that's pretty cool. So if I come across something, uh, for instance, we were talking about on phase six, we had an issue this morning. So I'll jump back over to phase six, uh, go to my contract drawings, structural. And we were talking about steel column layout. So we were relying heavily on our floor plans crunching some numbers, trying to figure out where something was. Well, we think that these were laid out incorrectly based on the dimensions are, that are here. I can export, I can share. I don't have to take a, a screenshot and go import it to another program. I can email with Procore this whole sheet. I can email a snapshot. So everything that I'm looking at, I can send to somebody else right now. So. I don't have to go back and sit down and, and formulate this big email. And in addition to just sharing it, of course you have all your markup tools. So I can circle everything I'm talking about. So when I export it, they're getting exactly what I'm looking at. And then of course, all these markups I'm making, they're just on my iPad. I don't have to push them and then somebody else is like, you know, why are all these circles on this drawing? Does this actually apply to anything? So anytime I wanna come back to them, here they are. Bottom line, this is your contract. I mean, this is everything that you're doing ties back to these drawings. Uh, people like to reference shop drawings, specifications, uh, or excuse me, not specifications, but shop drawings, product data, which is great, but everything we're doing is based on the drawings. So anytime we get an RFI in, do the update. Uh, here's the RFI cloud in the drawing. We already have the information. Um, I've actually gotten to where I wanna write RFIs on my iPad. This is kind of cool. So uh, if I come across something I have a question about, I can create a little cloud and link it to RFI, submittal, document, observation, inspection. So which is pretty cool to be able to link something to a submittal. Like, I could think of an elevator. So you're, you want to know where to put the elevator embeds. You can link it directly to the elevator submittal. But if I link to an RFI, I can click the plus button and actually create a new RFI. And then once it's created, I can publish it on the spot. So not only is my RFI created, and it's already sent to the architect from wherever I am, but I've also saved myself some of the hassle of clouding drawings later on. As opposed to what I've done traditionally is, you generate an RFI, you get it in, and now that everything's back, even if it's a, a digital platform, you now have to go into the drawings and cloud all of those. Well, I wrote that RFI two weeks ago. There's been a hundred other issues that have popped up since then. So where all these little applicable locations are, where all these impacted drawings are, I have to sit there and comb my brain to try and figure out where everything is. Well, now I can just cloud them all right on the spot, right when I have the RFI, and it's already done for me in the future. I don't have to fall back to my computer and jump on my, my company server to go pull up whatever data I need. It's all here on the iPad. Um, I do a lot on my desktop as well, but once again, it's all there. I, I can literally open up two or three tabs in my web browser 
and I'm looking at everything I need to know. I mean, it, it, it's all there. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to do a couple change orders using Procore. So if I get an RFI response back and I know that there's going to be a change, uh, Procore has the option to convert it to a change or you know, note it as a change right then and there. So then I can go into my changes tab later, my change events, and start looking at them. So let me see. Now I'm curious. I haven't looked at it on the iPad. Oh, there it is. So adding a new furred out wall and reversing door swings at some laundry room doors. And that was generated from an RFI. Wow. So just like that. I've already got the background information. It's already linked. Uh, the, the, the meat and potatoes of the issue is there. Now I just have to go generate the cost. I haven't done any observations yet, but <clears throat> come across an item that's uh, something that I'm unsure of. We write an RFI. I write it on my iPad or do it on my desktop send it to the architect uh, or send it to the structural engineer. So the architect still needs to be aware of it. I copy him on the distribution list. So now as the engineer is responding, the architect is seeing a, a, a copy of what, he's response, what his response is. And if he feels that he needs to jump in, he can jump in on that. We get it back. Uh, we can do a couple, of, a couple things. If we feel that the response is adequate, we can mark that as the official answer right there. If it's not, we can ping him with another question and request more information. And we don't have a conversation going back and forth through email to where now we've got to pull everything together. Procore is tracking all those responses in the same spot. Uh, sometimes it, it turns into a conversation where you, he answers a question and you ask another question and then he gives you an, another answer. And uh, you would then have to take all of that and compile it into one, you know, hopefully well-worded RFI to where somebody can pick up that RFI and they can see that one response and here Procore lists all the discussion that's already happened. You kind of track it a little bit better. So once it's everything's closed out, you take that RFI, you close it, you post it, and you then distribute it to not only who your subs are, uh, but you know the sub that it's immediately affecting, you can send it to any other subs that it might affect. Uh, and then somebody else can come along and say, hey, there's a new RFI in Procore. Uh, let me take a look at what it is. Maybe it affects me, maybe it doesn't. Uh, it's kind of the same process with submittals. So you're setting up your reviewer tree, and the, the first thing is you got to have a sub submit it. So he sets it up as a, a submitter, uh, sends in his information. We do our review. Architect, engineer does their review. Uh, and cool feature on that is that for the designers, when they're doing a review of a submittal, there's a little forward button that they can forward it to somebody else. Uh, there may be an aspect of it that we're missing that, you know, we, we think up front that the engineer needs to review this and the architect doesn't need to make any comments. Well, the engineer realizes, hey, I got to get some kind of direction from the architect. So all he's got to do is press the forward button and now the architect is looking at it. So the architect makes his notes, makes its way through the circle, comes back to us, we distribute it to the sub that submitted it, we distribute it to anybody else that it might affect, and there it is. Now it's permanently stamped in the Procore universe of here it is, here's how it went down, if anybody needs that information, it's all there. And Procore has a connectivity tool with Bluebeam, which uh, all of our designers use Bluebeam, we use Bluebeam for all of our PDF editing, uh, and there's going to be a way to tie in Bluebeam and do a studio review, which I, I haven't experienced yet but our engineer loves it, raves about it. Uh, so the fact that, I, that all these little quirks that you know, people are going to certain apps for, certain programs for, Procore is, is tapping into that, saying we're not forcing you to leave your software completely. You can still use whatever you like, use whatever you want, but we'll go out and figure out a way to pull it in. So at that path, as new things are being developed, I mean, if, if Procore is right there on the ball and, and quick to respond and, and find a way to tie into it, I mean, it's. It's, uh, it's whatever it can touch, whatever the light touches.